Great strike. Really felt good. What's up team? Our good friends over at Lovell Rugby has sent me over two pairs of rugby boots to try out, take for a kick. We are distributing our kicking tees over in the UK through Lovell Rugby, so head to their website, check it out. Um, I'll put the link below. You'll be able to jump on their website, check out the Rugby Ricks kicking tees, and they are distributed from within the UK to you guys, so you can get your tees ASAP. But we are going to have a look at two pairs of rugby boots today. Uh, the first pair of boots, the Adidas Predator. Big fan of the Adidas Predator. It was a boot that I wore um, growing up when I was playing, so really excited to see the brand new one, how it feels on the foot. And the second pair of boots is the Nike Tempo, another amazing pair of rugby boots. I love the look of it. Uh, I haven't had too much experience with Nike, so I'm really excited to try this boot out. Let's jump straight into it. I want to talk a little bit about the boots, each boot, the features, what they look like, how they feel, uh, and then we're going to take them for a kick on the field, see how we go. First things first, let's start with the Nike boot. Now they do send you a little boot bag as well, so this is a really cool feature, a really cool looking bag that obviously matches the theme of this Nike Tempo. So, well done Nike, that's a cool little feature. Uh, the boot itself, um, I love the look of it, the feel of it is really soft. Both the boots has kind of got that um, ready to wear feel, so you just slide it on and you feel really good in it straight away. I do really like this front feature uh, when you are trying to sprint, when you're getting up on your toes and accelerator, just the little hooks to really get into that ground. So nice little feature and then the back studs are slightly different to how the Adidas Predator is set up as well. Um, the other thing too when it comes to the boot the material and the feature uh, where we are going to make, be making contact with the ball this is a really soft feeling boot which I really like. I'll speak about it with the Predator as well how we can control the ball and really get a good, good feel for how we're kicking it. So an amazing looking boot I'm pumped to try this one out on the field. Then we get into the Adidas Predator. Uh, it was a boot that I wore a lot. I think with my foot being slightly bigger at the front, I really did enjoy the extra room there. Slightly different uh, looking, as we can see, the studs are slightly different to the Nike boot, but still uh, really good length. You get great grip um, and just a really good feel. Does have that nice feel of ready to wear. You slide it on and you feel good straight away. Um, the key feature to the Predator boot, I think, is this material, this rubber type feel that they put on each of the Predator boot. Now, just like when a tennis ball gets hit, we can see it getting compressed and then comes off the racket. The rugby ball is the exact same when it comes to these rugby boots. The ball is on our foot for longer than you actually expect. That way, the boot will give us feedback how we're striking it, whether we're trying to draw the ball or fade the ball or kick the ball straight. We get feedback straight away from the boot. So that's what I really like about these high-end rugby boots is that they are quality, they are made for that real, real high-end price. It does give you that feedback. So these are the two pairs of rugby boots we're going to try out today. I'm excited to have a kick. Both feel quality. I think as a rugby player, there's not too many things we can spend to really help out with our equipment. Rugby boots, mouth guard, a rugby ball as well. So if you can get your hands on a really nice high-end quality pair of rugby boots, I think it does make a difference. You do get a better feel, better read for the ball. Um, if you feel good in them, if, if the sprigs on the bottom really give you that confidence, um, it will help your performance as well. So let's get out on the field and try both of these two boots. Team, so I'm going to start with the Adidas Predators on. I've been for a warm-up. They feel really good, really comfortable. Um, it is a boot that I have worn before. The tee that I'm using with it is the RB Vortex Low Cut. Really good combo um, and both look really good so excited to see how this first kick goes. I have got a slight little breeze coming over my left shoulder pushing to the right so I'll start this one basically down the middle and it will just fade right at the end I'd say. Usual stuff, stay slow, trust my timing, win that momentum. Great strike. Really felt good. How fresh are these white tempos? I haven't had a pair of white boots for a long time, but I am loving how they're looking with the uh, with the white low cut vortex are on here. Um, first kick was really good. Felt great. Um, again, I love boots that kind of have that nice soft feel um, that gives you a little bit of feedback. It's definitely what I got from the Adidas Predator. So these feel great. Like I've sort of said, they feel like a sock when you first put them on. So I'm really excited to see how this goes. The grip is really good in these. Um, you feel like you can really move. Stay slow, trust my timing. Same plan, win that momentum. 